Hey everybody, how's it going? So the theme for today is terrible. First of all, I sound terrible because I'm sort of getting over a little cold, but in addition to that, I may have recently hinted that I purchased a new vehicle to add to my fleet of terrible broken cars. And today, I'd like to show you that car. Here it is, my 2003 BMW 330Ci. I bought this from a friend who didn't want to bother selling it. And of course he asked me if I wanted to buy it because I'll pretty much buy anything. And also, of course, I bought it without even driving it. Um, yeah, probably not a great idea. But I got the thing home and I've been driving it around for the last few days and it's been a really fun car. So I figured why don't I get around to finally making a video with this thing. This 330Ci has 99,000 miles on it, which is just over 6,000 miles a year. So it's a pretty low mile car for its age. And the 330Ci is one of the coupe variants of BMW's highly regarded E46 generation. It features the three liter M54 inline six cylinder making 225 horsepower. Unfortunately, this car doesn't feature the coveted ZHP performance package, which would have bumped up the horsepower and improved the suspension, but it does have the ZSP sport package, which provides some upgrades, including different wheels, seat, and steering wheel. All right, let's step inside and take this thing for a drive. Yep, automatic transmission. I mean, this one, it's pretty good for an auto, but this car would be so much better in a manual. Uh, what the f <laughs> uh, oh. I don't really have good luck with cars, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> What the heck? I mean, I am a little bit sick and I'm hoping this is just all a big NyQuil fever dream. Ah! <laughs> oh crap. All right, well, let's go see if it's the battery. What the? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. I just broke the, oh, look at this. I just broke this trim piece trying to open the trunk. Maybe I should just go back to bed. This, today is not really turning out exactly as I thought it was going to. No big deal, we can fix that. And there's the battery. So let's go and test it. 11.45, which means, yep, it's kind of low. Let me attempt to start the vehicle and see how much it drops down then. All right, let's see if I can jump start this thing. Nothing, that means it's probably the starter. I suppose it could be a really dead battery? I hope it's just the battery. It's probably not the battery. I might try to charge it real quick and see if I can get it to start. See if the car is done charging. Okay, so the battery's been on the charger for about six hours. Car still won't start. It's probably the starter that went bad, but it still needs a new battery, so I'm gonna run out and grab a new one real quick. All right, battery's out. Then we're gonna head off to auto parts store. Hopefully, this will do the trick. If it doesn't, then looks like I got some bigger problems to deal with. Wish me luck. Damn it. Okay, real talk here for a second. Owning 12 cars in various states of disrepair is not really a great thing to do. I can't recommend it to anybody. I mean, there are some good parts about it. I can drive a different car pretty much every day, but it's very difficult to keep 12 vehicles all running and driving simultaneously, especially when most of them are sub $2,000 cars. There's always gonna be something that pops up. I've kind of felt like I've always sort of had bad luck with cars, but when you own 12 of them, it kind of compounds any small issues that you might have and really makes you feel like your life is complete All right, got the new battery. I opted for the cheapest one because I'm cheap. It's actually name brand, so I feel like moving in the right direction. Okay, let's see if we can install this battery before it starts raining. In. 
So don't do what I just did, which is touch the ratchet to the metal bracket as you're tightening the positive terminal. Get a nice little shock and you'll weld your ratchet to the car. I'm not a mechanic. This is not a how-to channel. Don't follow my instructions. I'm just an idiot with too many cars. All right, it looks like I have just enough time before it starts raining to try this out and see if it actually starts. I really hope I don't need a new starter for this thing. Let's go find out. Okay. No! The next day. Okay, and the car's done. It was indeed a bad starter. Crazy that it went bad after only 99,000 miles. Let's see if it starts. Oh yeah, just like that. That's a good sound. Replacing a starter on an E46 is not exactly known as an easy job. It's buried in there pretty good and it was something I didn't really feel like tackling myself. He also replaced a bunch of vacuum lines that were bad and the grand total came to $706.42. That's actually not that bad for the amount of work that I had done. I know you can do it a lot cheaper if you do it yourself, but this wasn't a project that I wanted to tackle right now. So let's stop and go over what I've spent on this car so far. Uh, the battery was $208. Starter in these vacuum lines, $706.42. Uh, the trim piece that I broke on the back, that's probably gonna be about $100. I was hoping to buy this car and try to flip it, but given how much I've put into the car so far, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm, I'm not gonna make any money on this car. I'm probably gonna lose money. I guess what they say is right. There's nothing more expensive than a cheap PMW. Let's drive this thing home before something else goes wrong with it. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching a video of me and my not quite functioning properly BMW E46. Stay tuned. In the next couple of weeks, I'll have a video with this car where we drive it on some back roads and take it to a unique location. Looking forward to actually driving this thing instead of just having it sort of sit here sadly in my driveway. Thanks for watching. See you soon.